Hey guys, welcome back to the Confirmant RM YouTube channel. Hope you guys are having a wonderful day. So we're getting ourselves into the rest of the cryptocurrency market. BTC, BNB, ETH, XRP, all that jazz. And as we can see, we're up 6.87% over the last 24 hours for the crypto market. So we can see Bitcoin's up about 9% in the last 24 hours, as well as Ethereum being around 7.13, BNB around 7, about 6.19 nine and uh xrp about 5.44 percent everything else across the board is around the same about five to twelve percent across and that is awesome to see we're getting our movements back so getting ourselves into the actual chart we can see i here on the rsi got our short term merging with our longer term uh this is you know, that's, the, that's the easiest way to put it there for you and um for us to really kind of dive into here and show you what happened with this price, you can see that we had our projection here for the end of this, you know, uh, like this little cycle here from the top to the bottom here in this, uh, you know, symmetrical triangle. We have our bottom side here going across and we have our top side here and we have the time that we hit the top right here to the bottom of the trend line right about there and we can actually grab it and push it right there. So. That's what we had going. And as you can even see on a short term basis, I mean, you kind of pumped right through it. So I'd be quite intrigued to see what winds up happening from this. But, you know, we were off a short term here. We got through the 20 day moving average. So what happens now? We grab this, we go from the top here. Look at that to the bottom. And look what we did. We hit 24,264 resistance right there so we we put in a newer high well it's in the past couple of days but we're hitting resistance that came over here um about the same little price level right there as you can see to almost a t uh we need to get through oh my goodness 20 wow was it 25,203 in order to really break above what was formed back in august but you can see we set a new high that you know just in general from the past you know week that we've been in here uh, you know, this is back on February 1st, the 2nd. Okay. So now we were able to get ourselves through on this one day chart. We came back down, held the 200 day moving average. And we were talking about this earlier in the week about how if we wanted to get a continuation onwards and hold a bullish trajectory, we needed to hold ourselves above the 200 day moving average that is your staple for some sort of price continuation for like a bull run or anything like that and as you can see what happened we triple tapped it almost you know like right here one actually more than that one two three technically to the t but we were down here for about six candles for about five six candles and now we get our push to the upside we are out we are away from it and we were able to push ourselves back above that 200 day so that's that, that 20 day moving average as well. So we hit the suspected target at the moment. You can see right here that we, we were looking for around $24,400 and we're there within about 150 bucks. So we're there. What happens now? So do we get a sharp correction? Cause this is a nine, 9.2% 9 candle, 9.21% candle in one day. I would expect either you come back down hold here on the 786 and then push upwards for continuation that's what you would expect and then the next resistance we have is sitting there 26 000, uh and 47 bucks and you can see that the, you're, you'll have the the previous high that was set over here from bitcoin back in august as your midway point to have to get through in the middle of this fibonacci so at the moment, you can see it has pushed through the 786. It has finally gotten back to where it had problems with. And now it is trying to you know, find some sort of continuation. That if, is it going to wind up going forward? Is it going to wind up come pulling back? I would imagine a healthy kind of iteration here would be that pullback of around 2%. You know to, to hold a nice resistance to hold a nice support you know a resistance turn support holding above this twenty three thousand six hundred and forty six dollars because then you establish a newer base so you turn your resistance to a support and then you can push on upwards and get to that twenty six thousand we've been talking about this twenty five thousand that twenty five thousand i believe is coming it has to in this regard but what time frame i could not tell you but at the moment 
I can't give you long like the, this is the chart we have at the moment. We need more time and a four hour. So let's see. Go to a four hour chart. This is what we got. So we broke out. And now we, we need we, like you see, we got that 702 here and we blasted right through it, hit the 786. So this to me is conviction here on this chart. As you can see over here, this was like you know, neandering through it. I don't know, I don't know. You know, it, it was doing all the I don't know bull crap. This with conviction. So I'm intrigued to see if this is able to back test the 786 or God forbid the 702, but a 786 and then continue on upwards. That, that That's what this trend usually gives us. So I'm intrigued nonetheless to see that. But that would make sense because we're super over here. We were, we were talking about this the other day on uh, the RSI, how we were expecting a pop out on the RSI. And we're, we're about there. We, we, we can technically, you can go a little bit higher. I mean, I haven't seen Bitcoin this oversold on the RSI in a long time. So. I would be looking at that, you know, you a little bit further, maybe to retest getting up there to that, you know, that, that 24,500, the, 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 the full candle length. But then you'd expect some sort of pullback to hold for continuation. And I will keep saying that you trade confirmation. And that is the thing. We're going to see how it reacts to this one fib, $24,264, which as you can see, it's having an interesting time around and then go from there after. So, definitely something worth noting. So, if we zoom in here on the four hour, what do we got? We got all the, the trends here zooming in, going green. That is good to see. You have all those starting to swing positive after our huge fall the other day on February 7th through the weekend of about 8%. So, we kind of just brought ourselves back to where we were. But I'm curious to go to one more time frame. Let's go to the weekly. I want to see how this weekly time frame is going. Ah, so the weekly we're coming up to. Um, we just crossed negative. You know, not great. Our 200 day passing through the 50. But we can see that Bitcoin is trying to get back above it. So realistically, that 25. Let's see, 25. 24 nine 24 the basically basically 24,950 to 25,000 is that still that next target just for that gap to fill like you have that there and then we'll find out on a weekly if it's able to get through there but you can see that once you get through there you're going based off of Fibonacci to get there at 26,000 and then you're kind of in the no man's land for a little while there but that's on the weekly you know we don't typically go too much by that but we usually go by the daily but let's see what happened, guys. You know, this is what I'm seeing. Uh, you know, obviously, if we wind up rejecting off of here and going downwards, you know, we, we still have around this 100 day moving average that could come in as a support. But, you know, we're looking at the bottom of the range. You have a two, two, 20 day moving average sitting here around that 22,480. And then the next 200 day sitting there, literally right at where our. our channel started at so those were your two worst case scenarios uh i mean because even from here if it were to fall i mean even 10 or 11 percent you're still back in the range so that that that, that that's not really a concern but um you're, you're still building stairway upwards and we still have this target so i say the bullish case scenario is holding above that 786 pushing upwards and then getting up to that 25,000 where you'll hit the weekly uh emas so i am definitely sitting here on board waiting you guys look out for those numbers and we can go from there but anyways guys hope you guys are having a good morning afternoon evening wherever you are i really appreciate every single one of you enjoy yourselves remember i'm not a financial advisor i'm just kind of going through the market you know uh, I'm, I'm just a silly guy wearing pajamas. So anyways, have a good one, guys. Appreciate you. And I will see you on the next video.